And this is a this is positive for sure. Small number, but it's a positive. So what's the sign for delta G mix, which is in terms of mixing gas? My delta G mix, the sign is negative, right? Always. So therefore, it's a spontaneous process. As soon as you, you put up the barrier, they're going to mix. And then this is, this is what? If you think about the same scenario for the liquid, the situation is different. If you have oil and water, if you remove the barrier, oil and water remain immiscible, uh, immiscible. And so therefore, this is not a good description. But this one is, as far as the gas is concerned, this is a good description. OK. Uh, so I guess I jump ahead. This this is supposed to be an equation. Uh, I will just I'll, I'll just change the number. So it's a B. Uh, I want to know entropy of mixing. And how do I, how do I do that? Entropy of mixing, do you remember? Entropy of mixing is change in the Gibbs free energy. Or, okay. So instead of G, I guess I, I have to use delta G mix. Change in the temperature, keeping the pressure constant. With negative sign. You remember this, right? Everyone remember, right? Bg is this is a this is an equation we use it over and over again, okay? Minus SDT, and because of this term, we have, we can get this term right there. We are using this term to get the chemical potential pressure de de uh, dependence. So this is all always coming back to this thermodynamic equation. So. Uh, I guess I go well, I need to go back and uh, do the temperature derivative, which is very simple to do. It's a linear function of temperature. So the answer is, here is minus nR xA So I think I got, I got this equation down too. So this is a delta S mix and delta G mix. So once again, what's the sign of natural log of composition? This is? What's the sign of this? Sleepy. Because <laughs> it's negative. This is, this is a negative, right? Yeah. And that's, that's a negative, negative, right? So th this is always a negative, but make this one whole thing is a positive. So entropy of mixing is always positive. And it makes sense, right? The more chaotic, more disorder it is, entropy of mixing is going to go up. And delta G mix is over there. <coughs> and then I'm going to do something that is actually pretty obvious to do. So at a fixed temperature, so C, what's my delta mix and entropy? There are two ways to, to answer this for the gas mixtures. One is delta H mix is zero by definition. ideal gas, which means there's no interaction. So before and after, there's no interaction changes because you don't have any interaction to begin with till the end. So there's nothing really changing at all. So number two is this way. So delta G mix is delta H mix minus T delta S. Mix. 
So this is uh, also the equation that for a given temperature, specified temperature, how delta G is related to delta H with a delta S. And now you are using this equation for delta G mix, equation for delta S mix, if you plug that in, you will see that delta H mix is zero. You can see my note or textbook to, to get the answers right. But this is pretty much the same, the same thing again. Using this, this equation, you can plug it in. And I want to emphasize the meaning of this equation once more. So delta G mix, which is a full description of mixtures, how, what is a dip free energy change of mixing, if the mixing is spontaneous or not, one thing about the gas is, is always negative. There's always a spontaneous mixing for the gas. And not only that, that's the number one component. So it's a, it's a spontaneous mixing. Mixing is spontaneous for the gas. Number two, this is a, what is called the entropy driven. Mixing. Okay. So that's the term. This term, that, that you, what you see, this chemical composition dependent delta G mix, is actually coming from delta S mix only. There is no contribution from delta H mix. Okay. So this is an important concept that uh, I'm going to go after uh, to, to give you the more information.